welcome to Mr. C's presentation on reading large numbers. Oh yeah, you gotta know your place value. Okay, so if you haven't learned your place value out to the billions yet, this is too early to learn how to read big numbers. You need to go check that lesson out first. Okay, come on, bring it, ask it. Why on earth do we need to know big numbers? Well, if you can't read a number, you don't look very smart. I mean, personally, that's why it's important to me. You know, I mean, if I'm talking with someone or if I'm, you know, reading something out loud, I get to a big number, I want to know how to read it, okay? Because most people know how to read big numbers. Uh, and then, you know, reading big numbers helps you to learn place value and memorize place value. It kind of timestamps place value in your head, okay? And that's a good thing. So, let's do it! Okay, first of all, I'm going to give you a hint. Hint. You gotta know your place value, okay? It's a pretty obvious hint, and you're gonna see why in a moment, all right? But you have to know your place value if you're gonna read big numbers. And after that, it's kind of just a little trick. Okay, so let's take a look at a giant number here. All right, I'm not gonna read it for you yet, but I wanna point something out, okay? So if you look, whoops, if you look down here, here let me get a more colorful color here. Let's do, yeah, red, okay. So you see this down here, okay? We got two numbers out here on this side, and then we've got them in sets of threes after that. Now, do you remember what I've told you in previous lessons about reading numbers? Well, when I read numbers, uh, and when I, you know, a lot of times in math, when you're reading uh, math, or you look to the right, okay? You look to the right, and you're gonna read from right, to left. It's the opposite of when you're reading words. It's the same here, sort of. Okay? I look to the right and I count my commas. Okay? Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And since I know my place value, okay, remember if you don't know your place value, you're watching the wrong lesson. Since I know my place value, I know that all the way out here is the 10 billions and the 1 billions place. So I'm going to be reading, when I start out reading, out loud, I'm going to be on the left side of the number, okay? But knowing how many commas are in the number are going to help me, okay? Because look, I know this is the billions place out here, right? Okay, there's 10 and 1 billions place. So that comma right there is going to help me while I'm reading it, okay? Now, step one, you read these numbers in their three number groups. So out here, there's only two. So when you read these numbers, all you're going to say is 23. That's it. But you go, wait, Mr. C, that's not 23. That's like 23 billion. It's way out there in the billions place. I know. But you start out just by reading 23, right? Then when you get to this comma, that's when you say billion, because that's the billion comma. So I'm going to write that in right there. B I L L I O N. Okay, this is the billion comma. So I'm gonna start out, ready? 23 billion. Now we go to the next three. 905, how would you read 905? 905, right? 905. Well, what comma are we at now? Now we're at the millions comma. M I L L -I I O N. So let's start over. 23 billion, 905 million. <gasps> Keep going. Can you read this one before I do? Try it. 276. What comma is this? Take a guess. It's the thousands comma. Thousands comma is the first comma that you ever come across, right? Because the thousands place comes after the hundreds place, and there's no commas before you get to the thousands place, or, you know, before you get to the hundreds place even, okay? So the first comma that you ever come across is your thousands comma. If you have to read a number out loud the first couple times and it helps you to write these in, do it, okay? It can't hurt. It might be a little time consuming. It might take you a couple minutes, but it's not going to hurt. So let's start all the way from the beginning, and I'm going to try to read this number the whole way through. 23 billion nine hundred and five million 
276,991. You can apply this rule to every big number you ever read. Okay, it seems maybe confusing to hear it, but when you see it with these words plugged in where the commas are, it's really pretty easy. All you have to do is know how to read three digits together, okay? And then you just plug in the words thousands, millions, billions, trillions, I don't know, whatever comes after that, septillions is out there somewhere, okay? And then you just plug those words in at the comma, okay? I hope this helped. You're gonna to have to practice this and try it a couple of times. Um, so let's go ahead and just rehash what we learned today. Well, we learned that you have to know place value in order to read large numbers, of course, obviously. Uh, and commas are important when you're reading them, okay? Um, and then finally, reading large numbers makes you look wicked smart, all right? It's gonna help. It's gonna help you look at least, you know, mildly knowledgeable, which is important. All right, so you gotta try this. Come on, come on, come on. Of course, you always have to try this. This is what I want you to do, okay? Uh, I want you to ask a buddy to write a number that goes all the way out to the billions place, all right? Pick a buddy who knows place value if you can. Have him write it all the way out to the billions place. If you don't have a buddy, ask your teacher. Your teacher will do it, okay? Hold the number up and read it in front of your video camera. Uh, if you don't have a video camera, write it out in words. Um, but if you're one of my students, you do have a video camera. So read it in front of the video camera, and then I want you to submit it to your teacher uh, or submit it to me if I'm your teacher. Um, if I'm not your teacher, show your mom, show your grandma, uh, show someone who cares. Uh, if nobody cares, go get your stuffed animal and show your stuffed animal, okay? Uh, and here's a bonus for those of you who do have video cameras. I want you to try to write the number out in words. Uh, and if you don't have a video camera, then that's what I want you to do. Okay, because that's what you're pretty much going to have to do to prove that you know how to read it, is to write it. Okay, sound good? Try this a bunch of times. After you do it a few times, it's really pretty easy. Okay, good luck.